What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here and today I'm going to be showing you how to use our basketball jersey template mockups, all the um, just jersey parts, not the full jersey which we already have a tutorial covering, these three different jersey tops. So we have the flat option, the hanger option, and then the standard option. Um, obviously the flat is a flat laying jersey and then the hanger on a hanger and then the standard is just on a standard dummy. So you can get these individually. Um, the flat jersey is a little cheaper because it's only front views, the three front views, and the hanger and standard ones are um, front and back views. Um, you can also get them all together at a discounted price in the basketball jersey everything bundle pack. And you can also get the full um, jersey here as well with those three, uh, which is a pretty good deal. It's like almost 50% off. So uh, be sure to check those out. And once you have them, this is basically how to use them. Now, one thing we're gonna be using in this tutorial is the free Patchmaker PSD and layer styles. So be sure to download that if you're using any of our mockups because it's a great way to enhance the look of the jersey, make it look more realistic. But when you download one of these products, you will get six different views, uh, unless you're getting the flat one, that's three. Uh, but you can see we have front, front right, front left, and then back versions of those as well. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the front left version for this. And um, you can notice these are all .tiff files, which aren't PSDs. A lot of people will get confused when they download them. Um, the .tiff files are just a little smaller to save some space. And if you double click them, they won't open in Photoshop. So you have to right click, open with, and Photoshop, and then we can get started. All right, so we're in Photoshop. I'm gonna press Command H to hide those blue guidelines, and I'm gonna explain some of these layers real fast. So first of all, we have two avatar layers. We have the avatar and the avatar behind. You can see if I uncheck the avatar behind, not much happens, but that is there, so there's no um, empty space in the little seams where, this, the, where the avatar is cropped. Um, so if I close that, that seam will close up for good. Um, so that's why there is two of these. Um, so if you don't want them, you can just hide them both, but be sure both are checked if you want to use it. Then we have a logos folder with some lighting on top. And we, the logos are separate from the design layers because if you zoom in here, you'll see that the mockup has a texture to it, like a basketball jersey texture, and the logos don't, uh, which is what a real jersey would be like. So the logos are separate on their own lighting so when you add the logos, they look more realistic on the jersey, and then you can put whatever you want on the design. Um, and that's something we do with a few of our templates that have textures, and I just I think it looks a lot better. Even though you have one extra step of designing, it just it helps the quality so much. Uh, then we have our lighting group, um, which you can come into these levels and adjust them to fit your color or your design better. These are set up for the default blue we use. So if you use a white or a black, you might want to come into these levels and adjust them using these little arrows to get a better looking uh, lighting setup for your jersey. So keep that in mind. Then we have the designs group, obviously, and then we have the colors group, which are pretty self-explanatory if you've ever used any sort of mock-up before. Now, how I like to start is adding the logos and getting the colors. So let's open up the front logo um, folder or layer and you can see we have just our logos here. Um, I usually use this step to add in whatever team's logo I'm using. So if uh, we're doing Milwaukee Bucks here, if I add that in here, uh, we can take that logo, set it up, and we can also get these colors. Now, if you look to the side on my library, I already have the two colors I'm gonna be using there. Um, by the way, if you want your libraries up, you go to Window Libraries or um, yeah, there is no shortcut for that for me. Um, and then you can have a library like this. You can drag it around. I drag mine to the right here. Um, so to get those colors over there, you would come here, select the color. So we have the green. And then if you go to add to swatches, you can type in like bucks green and then click OK and it will add it over to your colors. And so that's how I do that. Once you do that and you want to crop your logo to just get the logo, um, there's a few ways you can do this. If you drag in a logo that has a transparent background, you're, you're good to go right away. But if you have a background like this, you might want to get like the magic wand selector, select like the green here and press delete, get that little spot to press delete, um, and then press command D to deselect. Now I have this like outside border still, so I'm going to select what's inside and then I'm going to go to select 
uh, inverse, which sorry, you can't see that because my screen is or my recording is cutting that off. But if we do that and press delete, it will delete that outside stuff. Now I'm going to press command zero to zoom all the way out. I'm going to press command H to get this blue guide. And then I'm going to press command T and line this um, logo up in the middle and line it up with the template FC text here. And that's pretty good. Now I'm going to hide the template FC text and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, for the time being, I'm going to go to my color fill and make that green just so we can see things a little bit better. Um, also, I'm going to flip these and get my tan over on the sidebar here. So I have both my colors here so I can access them. Now on the layer one, this is gonna be the uh, mill walkie text. I'm just gonna call it mill. Let's zoom in here. And I wanna separate the tan stroke from the, fr uh, from the white. If I use the selection tool though, they're too close in color right now to actually do that. And I could change the tolerance and stuff, but I'm just going to show you another way to get around that. Um, so I can actually just press command U and make this um, completely white. And I'm actually going to go down to the template FC text here and right click, copy that layer style and paste it to the Milwaukee text. And this is from the free patch uh, maker PSD. Um, if I double click and go to styles real fast, you can see all the options for this. patch maker layer styles. You can install this in your Photoshop for free. And we have a bunch of different um, layer styles for logos and things. But we have that, let's press command J to duplicate that layer and let's add the stroke. So I'm gonna right click, clear that layer style now, go to fill and set that to zero. So now this layer is invisible. But if we double click it and go to stroke and get our tan color, click okay. I'm gonna set mine to inside and about six. And you can see we have our own stroke going on. Click OK, right click rasterize layer style and then right click paste again and we can add our own patch layer styles to the stroke. Now it's a little harsh on the stroke so we want to double click that and adjust some things. So if we go to the bevel and emboss, we can knock down the opacities of the highlight and shadow. Uh, we don't really need an inner shadow for that and then the drop shadow we can also knock down the opacity and that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I also might come in here and change the texture to something else. I like that a lot better and we'll click OK there. Now we got to do the same thing with the number um, and the number is set up for you to edit right away. So if we just double click the T, we can come in here and make this. Uh, the Greek freaks number. Let's go ahead and get the bucks font. Hopefully I have I guess we're going with this one. I don't know if they still use this font, but we're just going to use it for tutorial purposes. Uh, let me come in here and get rid of the stroke here because we're going to do it the, um, the other stroke method. Um, but let's duplicate this right click clear layer style fill zero double click stroke get the tan and then we're doing inside six again click OK right click rasterize layer style and then let's go to that um, other stroke and get that setting uh, right click copy uh, layer style and then right click paste layer style to the number and there we go uh, the last thing we got to do is change the color of the Nike swoosh so let's come in there go to color overlay and we'll make that tan. We could make this white too. I'm just gonna make mine tan. I don't know what they actually use, um, but there we go. There are our logo set up. Now let's make sure that the number is centered. It's not, there we go. And hide the background. You'll notice if I go over, it's still the old setup here. So we have to save this layer and then go back and it will update. There we go. Now let's go down to the colors folder because we have the colors we wanna use. Um, the base in the front, we want to be green. So let's hold shift, select them both, select green, and then the trim and collars, we're going to make tan. And you'll notice that those didn't change, but if we hide those, you notice they are tan. It's just that these 
Smart objects are already white, so they're making it white. Uh, I, I wanna point out as well that there is a layer style hidden, which is the side. If I make that visible, you'll notice we have a like side stripe set up ready to go. So if you're adding anything to the side of the jersey, that's its own layer. You don't have to try to add it in the front or back layers. And we're gonna go ahead and use that actually for this jersey. But the first thing I wanna do is go to the front layer style or front um, smart object, hide this grid, and we wanna add our own design. So I'm actually gonna use a pattern from our newest patterns pack, the 2021, 20, 22 uh, kit patterns pack. And I'm gonna use the Chelsea third um, kit pattern here. Um, just to add something to this jersey design so it's not boring and plain. Um, so let's go ahead and add that. I'm going to increase the size and then right click rasterize it. And I'm going to make it green. So the green we're using. Um, but I'm going to make it slightly darker. Click OK, OK, right click, rasterize. And if I save that, and come back over, you can see that in the background of our jersey design. So that's where you would add any cool design features and things like that. Now I'm gonna to go to the collar and the trims. Um, I'm actually gonna close out of the front. So let's go to the collars. By the way, Photoshop's been doing this thing recently where you open a smart object and it doesn't like open it right. Like this isn't like, uh, it should open like this, but it opens zoomed in slightly for some reason, which is very annoying. Um, but uh, let's come to this and I'm gonna make a, stripe, a, a striping that's, um, we'll do just white, I guess. So let's make the black white and hide the background. So if I save this on the left trim and come here, you can see that it's the tan with the white, which I think looks pretty cool. So let's do that. Uh, I think the bucks don't use any sort of striping on the collar and trim, so um, I'm just doing this to show you how it kind of works. We do that to all those and there's our trim and collar setup. Uh, we could also just go ahead and hide them for the solid color. It's up to you really. Um, I'll leave them on for now. Uh, now I'm using the side stripe so you actually won't be able to see the back too well. But if the avatar was hidden, I believe you might be able to see the, uh, the back. And yeah, you can see it's right there. So keep that in mind. I'm going to leave mine hidden for now and keep my avatars on and open up the side. So uh, let's go ahead and make this green and we're going to make the these two rectangles tan. Zoom out a bit and let's make them go further to the edge like that. And actually, let's make this green darker again. And the Bucks have some cool like they have a purple jersey, like a purple stripe jersey uh, with like a bunch of different shades of green down the side. Um, or that's a jersey I remember. They also have one. Uh, actually, no, that's the that's the one I'm thinking of. That one's really sweet. Um, so I'm gonna do something similar, creating a bunch of different shades of color in squares. So let's go ahead and create a square here and make it zero. And we're gonna just make these black and white. So this one will be white. Command J to duplicate, bring it down. Uh, maybe we adjust the size a bit. Uh, make it gray. Let's duplicate both of these together, drag them down, make them both smaller. Make it a darker gray and a darker gray. And let me do one more. Make it smaller and make it an even darker gray. And then I'm gonna select all of those, set it to overlay, save it. And you can see that this smart object goes up in the arm. So we are only getting the bottom part of that. So let's go back to this and drag it down to maybe there. And there we go. There's a little bit more of that striping. And then it looks a little bit better. And let's actually hide all of these because I think that's a better look. And that's something pretty interesting. You probably wouldn't want that background design going on with that. It's a little too much going on. 
And that's the jersey design. That's how you use this. Obviously, you can do more complicated designs and do a lot more stuff with it, but that's just the basics. So hopefully you understand how to use this now. Follow our Twitter and Instagram, Template FC. Be sure to check out our website for all our mock-ups, patterns, and a bunch of other stuff. We have some free downloads there as well that you can use. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.